Hello students, in this session we will be learning the next concept of real numbers that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. The statement of fundamental theorem of arithmetic is every composite number can be expressed as product of primes and the factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factor occurs. You have to know what is composite number. You have learned in the previous classes. For example, you have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one is neither prime nor composite. 2, 3, 5, 7. These numbers doesn't have uh, factors other than 2 and 1. The number itself and 1. So this, these numbers 2, 3, 5, 7 are called as prime numbers. The numbers which has factors other than 1 itself. 1 and itself that is a composite number so the composite numbers are 4 6 8 9 10 okay. in the same way 11 is a prime number 12 is a composite number 13 is a prime number 14 is a composite number so understand what is composite number the number which is not prime that is called as composite number so every composite number, for example, you take 4, 4 is a composite number. This 4 can be expressed in the form of prime numbers. 4 can be written as 2 into 2. 2 is a prime number, one more 2 is a prime number. 4 can be written in the form of prime numbers. You take 6, can be written 2 into 3. You take 8, can be written 2 into 2 into 2 or just we can write 2 to the power of 3. So every composite number can be expressed as product of primes. These are the product of primes. Factorization is unique. 2 into 2 is only for 4. This 2 into 2 will not be for any other number. So it is unique. Apart from the order in which the prime factors occur, you can write any order, you can write 2 into 3 or you can change the order 3 into 2. So this is the theorem, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Composite numbers can be expressed in the form of primes. So there are some problems related to this theorem. The first problem, first kind of question is very simple. Express any number you can take. 100 you take. Express 100 in the form of prime factorization. So 100 you can with the prime factorization take 2. 2 into 50 becomes 100. Again you can take 2. 2 into 25 becomes 100. The next prime number you take 5. 5 into 5 becomes 25. So 100 can be written as 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 or 2 square into 5 square. So the next kind of question what you can expect in this? Check whether Check whether 4 to the power of n can end with digit 0 for any natural number n. 4 to the power of n, n can be anything, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, any natural number. You have to check whether it will end with zero or not. So four to the power of n. Consider four. Prime factorization of four is two into two. You have to know one thing. If a number have to end with digit zero means the prime factorization should be two and five. For example, ten. Ten is ending with zero. Prime factorization two into five. You take twenty. Twenty is ending with zero. Prime factorization two into two into five. You have two into five. Thirty is ending with zero. Prime factorization is three into two into five. Five twos are ten. Ten twos are thirty. You have two into five. Here you don't have the prime factorization two and five. So therefore, prime factors of four is not two and five. Four to the power of n cannot end with digit zero. You can expect this kind of questions.